Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at fitting more on a sheet of paper in Microsoft Excel. I have a fairly large worksheet here and I'd like to set it up for printing. Now I could go to file and then print and start working on it from here but there is a better way to do this at least I think so. So instead I'm going back to my worksheet and I'm going to the page layout tab and I'm going to margins and from the margins option here I'm going to select custom margins because I want to control things myself. The other thing about this custom margins option is that it gives us access to the print preview so we can see what's going to print. And we also get a little look at it here which is enough to tell me that I've got some really big problems. I've got a whole lot of spaces being wasted here at the top and the sides of the document and we can prove that by going to print preview because we're seeing exactly that here. So I'm going back to my margins option into custom margins and we're going to work on this. Now this document actually does have a header and these are the settings for the top of the document. So the top margin is going to be this little line here. So if I start to alter it a bit you'll see that it is this bottom of the two lines and this is the header. So the header text is going to appear in here and this is the whole of the top margin. The only thing you really need to know about the header and the top is that the header value should be less than the top. If the header value here is more than the top you're going to lose your header. It's just going to disappear. So you want this value here to be smaller than this but a two inch top margin is really really far in excess of what I need. So I'm going to reduce it. I'm going to reduce it to one and that shows me here that the header is bigger than the top so if we go and preview this document you can see the header's totally disappeared. It's behind this bar here so that's obviously not a successful value for the header but I can easily decrease that so I'm actually going to make that 0.5 and when we go to print preview we can now see our header again. So this is the margin, the top margin value, this is the header margin value and our header is sitting in here. But of course we've got really big side margins and really big bottom margins. And the other thing is that we don't have all the content on the page, we don't have all the columns. At this point I could actually switch to using this print preview page to do the rest of the work. What I'm going to do is go to the no scaling area and I'm going to ask to fit all columns on one page. Now that doesn't mean all rows are on the one page, it just means all columns. So I'm just going to click on that and you'll see that we're running to five pages but all the columns are fitting on one sheet of paper obviously we've still got a lot of empty space here. So what we can do is we can go to this margins view down here. If you don't see those margins on the screen just click on this margin button here and these are selectable margins. So what we're going to do here is just move this left margin across. That's going to make the content on the page a little bit bigger. We've still just got all of these columns on the page but the content itself is going to be a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do the same for this one. Now we can get a bit more text on the page by reducing these margins. We don't actually have a footer so I'm going to drag the footer margin down and then I'm going to bring the bottom margin down because footers and bottom margins work the same way as top margins. So you want the bottom margin to be larger than the actual footer margin. Again rough rule of thumb, header should be smaller than the top margin, footer should be smaller than the bottom margin. Now something's telling me that there's something going on over here because there's some empty space here and it seems like there are a few extra columns. There might be a bit of data in one of those columns that I'm just not seeing. So what we've got here is a whole lot of stuff that's actually not printing. So let's go back to the document. I'm going to scroll over to these two columns which was N and O because they were actually showing up on the printout but there's no data in them. So I'm going to select both of these, click on one, shift click on the other, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose delete and that will delete the contents of those two columns. 
Now when we go to Page Layout, Margins, and if we go into Custom Margins and Print Preview, which again is another way of getting into Print Preview, we can see what the result is. And we're down to just two pages of content here. We could probably fit a little bit more on by just reducing these margins again. And since we know we're pretty close to fitting everything on the page, we could go back here and choose instead of fit all columns on one page, we could do fit sheet on one page so that everything, all the content from this worksheet is actually printing on a single page. Now, of course, that won't always work for you, but in our case, it has worked for us. So I think between direct accessing print preview from file and then print and also choosing it from the page layout options via margins and custom margins where you can see the margins and make some alterations to them and then go to print preview that you've got the tools that you need to fit more content on a single sheet of paper. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.